let's start with the node class again so here is our node class and I'm going to make it a generic class here so now it is generic and so it's of type T now I'm going to have my first variable in the class it's data and my second variable would be of type type T and I named it as next okay now I want to make them public uh, here and here so this these are my two variables and I am going to create one constructor here node and then this node would be taking type t data as an input and then it would be what it's going to do is this dot data equals to data so this is all this is going to do and then what I'm going to do here in this linklet class I am going to make one root node so here I am going to make one root node it will be uh, let's make it private and it could be of type T no T and let's call it root and this class will again would be of type T again make this as a generic and we have the root node now and I'll create two methods here one would be public uh, void insert and then the one would be public void travels okay so then this insert what it's going to do it would check so it's going to take of type t data input and i'm going to check here if my root node is empty uh, is equal to empty then what i'm going to do and in else case what i would be going to do so So if we have the root node as an empty, so that means we need to create the root node, so then it will be root dot new scripts and then it would be of type T and it will be the data. And then if it is not empty that means we have some values in the link list and we want to append the link list so here we are going to add a node at the end of the link list now what how we are going to do it let's see here I am going to write a method private void uh, add node at end and what it's going to take it's going to take as data and it's going to take a node as well oh, sorry. node type t and call it node so how it's going to work and here we are going to use recursion and how we are going to 
use as a recursion let's see so we have the node and I'm going to check whether the node dot next is not equal to null and then and what I'm going to do we're going to add node and data and node dot next okay so this loop will now run every time run run till the till it till it reaches towards the end of the list and once it will reach at our end of the list then we will have our base case and our base case would be once it ha it is at the end of the node then we are going to have node dot next equals to new node of type t okay so so this is going to add this is going uh, now this is going to add the node at the end of the list now what I am going to do here I'm going to call this method add next node here and you have the data and then I'm going to pass the root here okay so now we have node append and we have the traverse method Oh, let's come this point to this point and here what I'm going to do I'm going to write a traverse method and so for traversing we are going to create a first one I'm going to check if it's the string it is empty or not whether the linked list has some values in it or it does not have any value so I'm going to check it as root is equals to null and I'm going to return from here and if it's not then I'm going to create my new node type t and I'll call it actual and I will give the value of root to it now and I'll traverse it while actual actual is not equal to null and here I'm going to do I'm going to print the value so sys and then I'm going to print actual dot data here and incrementing the actual actual equals to actual dot next now 